welcome to a new update and today it will be a shorter video than normal so i'm going to start off with some apple bobbing so let's head over to the golden leaf stables so now we're at golden leaf stables and i'm going to start with the apple bobbing and i'm still searching for the lag wraps um which matches with my halloween set at the moment um i've got my um accessories for the head of the horse but um, not the lag wraps yet, so I really want the lag wraps at the moment, but we've got a Clementine Orange, which is not what I want at the moment, but yeah, now I'm going to head over to the Yorvik Stables to do some apple wobbing over there, so yeah, let's over head over to the Yorvik Stables. So now we're at the Yorvik Stables, and I'm going to try to apple bob, or how do you call that, again, and I really hope I get the lag wraps now, because I'm still searching for the lag wraps, and... I can't get them. Boy, why are you standing in my screen? That's not nice, Susanna. Um, enjoy. Look what you got. Oh my gosh, we've got a cake again. Look, we've got some strawberry. Oh, it's ice cream. I didn't know that. But now we're going to continue with the update of today and also talk a little bit about the new home stables, which are coming very soon, and also about the new area, which is coming very soon too. So now we're heading over to the Mirror Marshes to meet Frida or Freda, I don't know how to call her, so let's go. We're now in the Mirror Marshes and I'm going to take a look where Frida or Freda or I don't know is, I'm going to call her Frida. So let's ride into the Mirror Marshes and take a look where she is. Um, I'm pretty excited about the new frogs, we have a turquoise one, a, I guess a green one and a blue one, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but we can take a look, of course. So now I'm going to search for Frida, and I'll see you as soon as possible when I found her. Oh my gosh, I literally said when I found her, and then I saw her. Hey, Frida! Oh my gosh, she's wearing that jacket I always love to wear in Dino Valley. Hello! Okay, so she's got a frog with a, yeah, green body and a turquoise head. And it says ribbit. Oh my gosh, so cute. A, um... A blue one um, and yeah it says rabbit again <laughs> and we've got a green one and the first one with the turquoise head uh, costs 29 star coins and the blue one 69 and the green one 199 star coins they're so expensive why are they so expensive <laughs> really hate that uh, animals are so often so expensive but they're very cute so if you bought one send me a picture on twitter instagram or facebook facebook uh i check the most so be sure to send me a photo if you've already got one everything is in the description so go take a look if you want to send me a photo also halloween continues so you can meet galloper thompson which we're going to do in this episode too though and you can still um whoa what are you doing with your fuel toys um, you can still buy things from the Halloween shops and you can still search for ghosts. You can still do apple bobbing as you saw in this video earlier. So yeah, enjoy the Halloween update for one more week. By the way, Addy and Ferdinand moved to the Yorvik stables and next week the horse market will be open for business again. Actually, this was pretty much it for this update. But we're now going to take a look at the new clothes and gear uh, in Fort Pinta, so let's head over to Fort Pinta. Bus, come back! <laughs> no! <laughs> now I need to wait for three more minutes! Bus, take me with you! No, don't get away! Bus, no! <laughs> this is what I really hate about SSO, the bus going away while I'm arriving. Hate that so much, but let's wait uh, I guess three more minutes till the next bus comes so yeah it's very annoying but let's wait some more minutes yay there's the bus again oh my gosh I sounded so unhappy but I'm very happy that he is back that stupid guy with its stupid glasses uh, I'm gonna show you wait look at his glasses oh my gosh it's gone again you can't see it he has he wears glasses and those glasses are so, so, so funny. You seriously need to take a look once. But let's check out the new gear first, because gear is my favorite of the Wall SSO shopping mall. And I read on the Star Stable News that they finally made new gear. So yeah, let's take a look. 
So they released an adorable new western set. Look at that bridle, bridle, I don't know, bridle, I guess. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. They really did a good job. And the saddle pad is also so beautiful. It perfectly matches with the bandages I've got lately. Bandages, wait, leg wraps. I always call it bandages because in Dutch it's bandages. And yeah, it, it sounds a little bit similar for me. But I look at that saddle pad. It looks so beautiful. But it's so expensive. Look at the Star Coins amount and the Orbitillions amount. Whoa. But the last item. Oh my gosh, they just did three items. Mm, terrified. But the last item is a Western saddle. Um, and yeah, this one is too. Sorry, what? This one is super expensive too. Sorry, my English is so bad today. Just like last week or the week after. Um, after no. Okay, it'd be so. But we, <laughs> the saddle is cool and it matches perfectly with everything they released today. I really want to buy this set, but I don't have enough star coins and all. Also, not enough Yorick chillings. The life of a level 9 time, 9 time, 9 10, 19, what? 19 star rider, oh my gosh, hate my life. But I really love the new set, so now we're going to take a look at the new clothes, and I hope they have matching clothes with this set, so let's take a look immediately. Yay, I think they did launch a matching, yeah, yeah, clothes set. Um, but we're going to start off with this blue atonement jacket. Um, yeah, it's a blue atonement jacket. It's not what I would wear, but it's something new. And if you like it, you can, of course, we can go buy it. Can what my English? Oh, damn, really? Um, stylish equestrian boots. Yeah, I don't really like that they have black beneath and brown on the top. I don't really like that. But yeah. We've got a cute city jacket, which is pretty actually. I like the shirt with horses on it beneath the jacket, but it's a little bit too official, or how do you call that? You, you shouldn't wear this in public every day or something like that. Just on special occasions you should wear this, but it's pretty- Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> it's pretty and yeah, I like it. Then we come to these trousers, but if you take a look, like, yeah, I don't know, I'll put an arrow, but whoa, that heart is so cute, and actually, I like the trousers, they're very pretty. Then we've got this western hat, and actually, I don't really like wearing western hats in Star Stable, but in real life, I do like to wear them, but this one's pretty, so yeah. Then we come to the last item, these awesome, good-looking gloves. They're so pretty. I would definitely buy them if I had enough Yorvik shillings and even star coins. I would even spend star coins on these. These are so, so pretty. This was everything for the mall for this week. So now let's talk a little about the new home stables, which are coming in November. And if we're talking about the new home stables, we're talking about this. You can now keep 12 horses in your home stable. Actually, not now, but when the new stables will come. You can also upgrade your home stable to 14, 16, and 18 horses. Now you can only have 10 horses in your home stable, but 18 horses. That's so close to the double of what we can borrow now. Whoa, that's so, so amazing. To upgrade your home stable, you need to pay star coins, so keep that in mind and save up your star coins. Also, Star Stable is going to be taking away Horse Island and replace it to our own pasture. Access to our own pasture will be free, 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 which is so, so awesome. So thank you very much, Star Stable team. Love you all. So that was the most exciting thing I wanted to tell you guys about and I'm so so excited uh, about the home stables which are going to be released in November. So that's in a month, maybe even shorter, maybe a little bit longer. We don't know, but in November they will come and I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to make an episode of Star Stable updates of it. So yeah, 
let's look forward to that. And then something else uh, of which I can't talk much, but the new area which is going to be released in this autumn. I'm also very excited about that. It may be Pandoria or it may be the part above Golden Hills over here which is going to be, re be released. It will not be as big as Epona. That's what they told us. But it may not be, it will not be as big as Epona. But it will be there in a month or maybe two months or maybe one and a half months. We'll see that as soon as possible when they release it, of course, Lee. I'm also super excited about that update, so I'm definitely going to make a Star Stable Updates episode of that one. So yeah, let's look forward to that too. Now we're going to wait till 8 p.m. till Gulliver Thompson appears again. We'll hear a scream and then we'll ride towards him. And he can be all over Jorvik. I don't know where he is at 8 p.m., but we'll see that as soon as possible. So now I'm going to wait till he appears and of course Lee, I'm going to film it for you guys. So there's Galapa Thompson and I'm running up to him and I hope he can catch me as soon as possible because I really want to... Wait, yeah. yeah. This is what happens when you, yeah, cross Galapa Thompson. Um, I already did this so I'm not getting XP for this. Then you get this screen and then you'll be, um, yeah, transported to your home stable. And what hap what's happened? What did you see? You're not completely sure but you can see something right in front of you. Is it a gift or some kind? Um, I already did this quest, so it's blue, but uh, you get uh, only the amulet, you can throw that away, you don't need that for any quests or something. So yeah, I've got two of them right now. Here is one, and here is one. And yeah, that was a quest of Galapa Thompson. This was everything for this week. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I hope I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye! Yo, I ain't here for the money